All right, I see something. And I don't hear my head. All right, let's get back to this. What were we doing? You know what? I want to try something here. Let's um let's get a block out. I think I'm gonna have to go higher than that. Welcome in. All right, let's try. Ooh, there's not much space. Let's see if I can get it to work though. No, there's not enough space. Okay. Let's see what we can do about that. Really? Man, these bees hate me. <laughs> They're already attacking. I've only been in here like two minutes. Alright, let's go deal with the bees. All right, are they from this side? There they are. <laughs> oh man, silly bees! All right, let's see if I can get this to work. What I want it to do. go up one. Okay, now. I guess we're going to have to use stone. So it should be right here and then up and in. And back and there. And that makes a slope. So with a slope, we should... Come on, do it for me. Do I need more? Looks like I'm going to need more. Or they changed it. Well, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. I saw something. There's a little bit of an angle. Try it from a... Welcome in. Let's try it from a little bit different. See what we can get. Oh, come on. I've seen pictures of this. Someone's done this before. And I'm sure this is what you do. Oh, 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 oh. I got a better idea. Faces. Faces give me cool angles. Let's, let's go grab a head. What do we have? We have a head in here. Let's go grab a head. See if we can turn it. Well, here, let's just do it right here. Well, if I can, oh, I can't get up there because it's got the thing right, 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 right. All right, so let's see right here. Let's see if it will do what we want it to do. Okay, so there is some turn. It's not much. Boy, it, it stops quick, doesn't it? But we can get a little bit. We can get a little bit. How about off of your ears? Do we get better off of your ears? What about Tusk Boy? <laughs> I forgot about that. Let's try Tusk Boy, see if we can get any any different fun angles. I think tusks are... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. That might work. Okay, what about his head? It stops quickly. It really doesn't give much of an angle. But it does give... I think enough... Okay. All right, so... Uh, so, but I can't use him because I don't want to have to redo that thing. 
So let's go get a head with some tusks. And hopefully, or the, hmm, what was that noise? Sound like I heard a different animal all of a sudden. Alright, so, tusks work a little bit, so we'll try that. Cyclops. We already know that this works a little bit too. But we need more. Uh, I got a bunch downstairs. Let's go get those instead. So I'm not using up the supply and then I have to redupe it all over again. And then I went down too far because I'm dumb. Alright. Nope. Wrong box. This box. Okay, so we got a whole bunch here. Ooh, the palace one might be nice. Little wolfy. And we've already got some other stuff. Crane, we got that too. Okay. Alright, so let's try these, see what we can come up with. Alright, so now the hard part. If if you don't know what I'm trying to do, <clears throat> I'm trying to make one of these go up on here, but instead of being against the wall, I want it leaned back so it looks like it's, it's just there. So I have to use another prop... Actually, that might work. And then... I use... the thing... Maybe... Yeah, but it's sticking off too far. Oh, I can have it come under. Alright, so that sticks off too far. I need to relocate the head. It's not a good... Sp yeah, if I can get to the head. Yeah, now I'm weirded out. Where did it give me iron block from? Yeah, you little bastard. <laughs> Putting stuff back. Okay. Let's get the head. Oh, no, no, no. No, I think that's the head. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the head. Okay, I got lucky. So we need to go in. But it also needs to be down some. So... If I use that, my the point's got to be in a different spot. Or, if I do this sideways... God, I wish I could see. I can't see where his tusks are. Alright. Let me see. Okay, so... If I put him in the wall, put him up, I might be able to get the tusk close enough. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to chunk this out, because I think I'm going to have to put him back against that wall a little bit, but I also need some of this. Nope. Okay, so I think I need that much out. Then, we bring this up like this. 
Okay, so... First, let's try there. Might be a little bit too low. Oh, 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 I saw it, I saw it. The angle's all right, it is a little too low, though. Okay. All right. <laughs> now good luck getting that head back. Oh no, I saw it. Nice. Oh, I can't see anything. All right. So that was too low. So there was too low and I need to come in some maybe maybe that. It almost needs to be angled even. Or the the head clear out here, so I'm using the other tusk. The inside of the right tusk instead of the outside of the left tusk might might be our ticket. Alright, so let's ooh, where's it at? Okay. Let's try inside of the left tusk this time. Yeah, that's gonna be harder. I can't see a damn thing. Alright, alright. Okay, okay, okay. No, that's not too bad. It's not too shabby. But higher still, because it was still some, an issue. Let's try that. Alright, this is gonna do it, right? It's gonna do it. It's gonna do it for us. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh! I still need to go in further. Oh shit. That's that's going to work, but I like right like that. It's great cuz it gives us just a little bit of an angle, hides the stand a little bit, but goes behind the shield. That's great. But the head needs to go in a little further. I need to clip the head some more. The tusk, I need to clip that tusk into that wall a little bit more. Oh god, getting this back's going to be fun. Okay. Oh shit. Oh. Nice. So far it's playing nice with me. I'm all right with that. Okay. So we were about there, but I have to go in more. Let's go up a little more just in case. Right there. All right, come back, Wolfie. Let's try again. Oh, oh, oh. Damn. It's like... Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, shit. Do it. That's awesome. Can I get the head back now? <laughs> oh, no, 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 I saw it, I saw it. No, no. Here, let's get this out of my way. So that I can get closer. Alright, so we did that. That's awesome. Put this back. It's kind of like that. Uh, there we go. Now I gotta put a lot of wall back, which is gonna be interesting. So, first off, we need this flavor there. And it was two and four high, okay. Ooh, that's gonna be an issue. You know what I'll do? Let's do that size. Just do that. Perfect. Nope, no, no, this one. The little size then that. And then go back to this. That is awesome. When uh, Jasper or uh, Nina or one of them gets on, they're going to lose their minds when they see that. It's awesome. Sweet! Of course, i got to do it again, though. 
So now I'm gonna have to do another one. I'll wait till they get on so I can show them. I did start early, so that's okay. That's so cool. I love the lean, man. And it and it looks right. And it looks appropriate. It comes behind the Yep. It just yep, that works. So I think we'll do another one over here. We'll do a different one over on this side. And now we know how to do it. We use the inside tusk. So brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. I love it. Ooh. What if I did... Hmm. That could be interesting. Okay, let's do... First off, we need to block this more. So this is two. Nice and chunky, and oh, we gotta go more, don't we? Because of that, I don't know how much more I, I want to go, but I, it it might be all right. It might be all right. We'll go ahead and go one more. Really block this out, because I've decided here is going to be the staircase that goes down into the enchanted glade whatever we're calling it that we're going to build for the uh, queen. So, something for her to go and have some fun. Okay, did I take up the whole middle? Yes. Okay. Oh, did I take up the whole top? Yes. And then I went across that one beam. Okay. Alright. No, no, no. Wrong Kula. Now, however, we do this. Okay, now let's do the side. So I've got a really interesting idea for the bathtub. Which also means we might need to thicken this wall back here a little bit. So what if we did the bathtub in a grotto down here? In fact, come all the way to this. And I think we can even go in one block there. Maybe. That just straight up the back of the cabinets? It is, but there's still there's still wall there. So I think back here I'm gonna bring this up one more. And I want one more out of this.
So we'll have essentially a, 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 a grotto, I don't know how to say it, a grotto tub. So this whole thing is going to step down anyway. I had already planned on that. And then there'll be a slightly raised section here with some kind of a... I mean, they don't need privacy for themselves. They, it's their room. But something raised up just to give a sense of wall, I guess. Uh, I think this one should be this, though. And let's see. Too high, maybe. And we can always see if I want to place anything in it, like windows or anything inside of it, as a, a cool, interesting look to it. But this whole thing needs to come down, and you guys are all in my way. And of course, I have no backspace, so we're going to have to move this one by one. Alright, so one by one like that. We'll move that. Okay. So this whole thing... Oh, that's a good question. Um, I went too far. All right, let's put that back. Careful doing that. Alright. Oh, that... Oh, I did not expect that to happen, and that's so awesome. The bottom of the... That's too cool, man. Totally unexpected bonus right there. So, question is... I mean, we're already pretty decent for... So if I had this now, and I had this here, I mean, we're already, I think, low enough. However, I don't think it would hurt to have it one more level down. But I, I think one, I think one will work. I think one will work. For what we're, what I'm trying to do here, I think one is going to be okay. But I want something better. Do we want to do highly polished? Because I want it to look like... Well, I mean, kind of like the kitchen does. Do that. Except I can't because it won't go one below me. That's... Oh, now it will. There it is. Something like that. Nope, I need to fix that. There we go. I don't need to fix that too. There we go. Man, gotta fix it in that corner too.
Now we got it done. All right. So we bring this thing over. Yep, I just lost something else we need to do. We need to sink this down in the ground, coming out of one side, now that we got this nice chunk here, so that it looks like it's the uh, fountain for that. All right, let's do that too. Let's see. Let's let's do it with the big tool so it's easier. No, I want got that right to begin with. Let's try this. All right, it's stone down there. I'm going to have to put actual tile down there. Otherwise, it's just this round bit. All right, so let's go down one more chunk. And we'll put that in so we have Okay. I have to put this back otherwise I won't be able to hit Y just to erase that. You jerk. Here we go. Now let's try this again. <sighs> I don't know what I broke, but I broke something out there. Bro, it's right there. I can see it. Why aren't you clipping onto it? Okay. Alright, so we're going to be right, right there. Wish I could see. I want to see that this fits over it. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. I love it. That's sweet. Now, let's make sure this isn't sticking out. Okay, we don't see it anywhere. You still see a little bit of the barrel, but... Say la vie. I could have had it come out a little bit more... If I wanted to, but this will work. And then we'll put... We could put... Oh, I already know what I can put over there. So... Hell yeah. That's... That's perfect. That is perfect. Perfect. I love it. Okay. Uh, do we have any on me? I don't. Do I have any in here? Do I have a bathroom? I need a toilet. Do I have a toilet? I don't have a toilet. Okay. I have to go get a toilet. Let's put this over here so I remember what I'm using. I probably put that up for right now. Well, here, let's. That'd be something. Put something in here. He can, he can watch them. The the all watching eye. That makes kind of makes sense actually. For right now, let's just put this over here so it's out of my way. And quite frankly, let's get all these tables out of my way also. All right. So I need. And let's put that there, and let's do that. Okay. Why do I have one piece of dirt? Oh, I know I have the dirt on me. Don't get rid of that. Well, we're going to see if that thing grows. And if it grows, i got to put this pot under it. All right. You know, I wonder if it'd be nice to have one layer of the uh, red tile right there. Just to... Because the red has the black on the top. I think so. I think I like that. In fact... Let 
Let's get a nice little ring going on. Hmm, maybe. I don't know if I like that that makes that stick over like that. Well, let's commit to it for now. I can always change it if we don't like it. And I think I want to do the same over here. Okay, so we'll leave that rimmed and then we'll keep this over here as it is. So we got that. I need to get a toilet. Oh, so the showers. I need to get another one of them too. So what I want to do is I want to do a double shower here. That's going to be weird. Maybe. So I got to sink it down one, but not all the way one. I only want to get rid of this base. I actually like the stonework and all that. I'm fine with that, but I, I got to get rid of the the foot because I don't want the foot. I want the foot under the ground, and I want just that shower, and it's going to be a double shower head. So the idea is this whole thing's a drain. Um, it's a a bathroom room, the room itself. Uh, so I wonder if there's anything block wise. I could just do that and put like metal grate in there or something. To give the impression. Um, let's see. I think it's the only one that'll turn. Come on. Come on. I don't want no spikes, no spikes. Flippy. Ah, crap. It's going to do the spikes. I suppose we leave it with the holes, and just the idea is there is a drain there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if I ended up liking that. It's it's a thing. I mean, it's a thing. We'll we'll figure it out. Actually, if we're gonna put the head in here, let's get let's get a fancy one. This is the king's chambers. Let's get us a uh, the the big boy, the iron or I don't know, maybe the copper. Let's just get a nicer one. So we got bronze, we got iron. Iron shows status more, I think, so we'll do iron. Let's get a toilet. We definitely need like a his and a her sink uh, vanity if we can come up with that. Something nice. Let's look at these windows and see what... The polished is nice. And you got these. Okay, I'll think about that. Oh, that hurt. I don't know why I thought something was missing. Okay. So, I need to find out. So, the idea on this is yeah, no one really wants to have that right next to a bath, but what if we did a little bit of a hmm 
I don't want it overlapping. And I don't think I can get this tub in any further. I definitely can't get it that far. Unless I actually sink the tub into the wall more, but I don't want to do that either. Okay, so... What do we think about that? I mean, we're little hobbit people. I can fit in there, so it's reasonable. I want to do something different, though, for that. <sighs> Let's try a couple different materials. Try polish wood. See what we think. And it's fancy. I think I might have. I think I might have what I want to do. How many spaces is that? One, two, three spaces. So then we'd have to do this end. Okay, let's go grab a window. There's more bees. That swore I heard them. Okay, let's grab a window. I think I think I'm feeling that. Certainly nicer. Or double those. Oh damn. I'll I have to take the whole thing. Let's uh let's see see what it looks like. See what each looks like. Okay, so normal window, it's definitely fitting, it, it, it fits the part well, and I have no idea if I'm going to be able to go in there and get that damn thing. This is going to be a problem because I'd have to go too vertically, or I'd have to run this across there, which gets in the way of that. I think I'll just leave that. Because, you know, when you take a poo and you're taking a bath, if someone's taking a bath at the same time, they want to smell... I mean, they'd want to sit there and chat with you. But you still have some privacy. I mean, it's the king and queen. They they know what they smell like. Alright, what can I do with sinks? Make a thing over here and there's a... We built, do a build-in, maybe? A built-in, excuse me. So, like, double sinks right here. Kind of do them like I did down in the kitchen. I liked the way they looked. About like that. So you can still get to there. We can put like some tiny little cabinet on both sides. We can still get our double showers. Yeah, the bees are up there. Jerks. All right. What can we do? Ooh. What can we do? 
indeed. So if I go up high enough, you won't see the bottom of the bowl. If I go low enough, it might look a little funny. I don't think that looks too funny. I think that looks about right. I don't have another one to test the other side. But I think... I, I Yeah, no, I kind of like that. Or maybe we don't do the other side. Maybe we do something else there, like we stand things in there. Like a potted plant. For now, just temporarily until I come up with something else. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Now, to do these, I I need more. I need more of those things. Let's get let's take all this crap out of my bags, so they're not taking up space. Um, I don't know where to put all this stuff because I gonna need to be that way. Oh, I brought the whole thing of toilets. I thought I brought one toilet. Apparently, I needed all the toilets. Yeah, that's not going to work. I'm just going to take those back. Boy, they're trying to get down here. Where are they at? Alright, that helps get rid of a bunch of stuff. And then this bad boy get a little bit more impressive. You're in the king's quarters now. He's watching everything you do. Okay, so need to keep on to that. Let's keep these here. Probably still do some rugs. In fact, I would think they would probably have something like this or even kind of like this Did both might even have both yeah I mean I could always trade it out later and do something different Let's make sure I change these up a little bit. So we're not doing exactly samey samey. And then we'll do this one like this. Something like that. And then maybe we'll have one for the desk too. Just gets it out of my bag. That's the main reason. Now let's go get. What do we need to get? Shelving. I need to have shelves so I can bring these up. Because I can't put them down a full block. If I take them down a full block, they won't... Uh, they'll, they'll be really... T they'll be too low to the ground. So I need to get shelving. So I can bring them up a little bit. And I know I've got one in here. I do. What am I missing here? Snake? Let's bring Snake out too. Oh no, missing him too. Bring all that. Yes, I know, I see you. I'm coming, don't worry. You'll be able to attack me soon. Alright, let's go get some shelving and kill these dang bees. Talk about killer bee swarms, man. Shelving time. Uh, here? Yeah. Alright, let's do these. I like these the best for doing this kind of work. I should probably get another one of these anyway. In case I need them. And we'll just get a couple of them just in case. So we can set these showers down. Get them to where they're in a good spot. So we don't see that base, but we do get you know, like the rest of it functioning for us.
I'll definitely have to dress it up more, but it's it's looking really good. I'm, I'm really liking it. I would like to see this over one more, but I cannot get this thing over any further without chunking out a portion of this, and then it doesn't, to my eye, doesn't look quite as good. Anyway, so let's, uh, all right, I got that. This will be easier. Just do it like this. Okay, so we'll go one for you, one for you. So we got a shower here, a shower here. Let's uh, back that up a little bit. And let's do, let's just do them side by side. Screw it. Okay, so what I need now, so that's all the way up. Let's try that. Ah, I forgot to get another shower. I'm an idiot. So that was not low enough. Okay, so we're going to put this here as a guide. Grab that. Sink down so I can freaking see. So that is too high. Oh, I need to put more base down there. Ah, oh, damn. Is that where that was sitting? Yeah, it is. Okay. Well, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Hey, I didn't mean to fall in. We have to build up the wall there because the wall doesn't exist below that. Doesn't really matter what it is. Actually, let's make it easier on us. Let's do the metal since it's nice and square. Give us a really good, solid, square piece to sit on. That'll work. But now I need to do this because otherwise it's not going to let me hit YY easily. Okay. really down like that. That is way too far down. Oops. Okay, so that was like there, so we're going to come up. Let's try that. I am um, not very good at estimating this, the, the height, am I? All right, so let's try halfway between. Okay, okay. I think I know what I want to do. So we're gonna come up closer to that little uh, line there, right there. Hey, 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 hey. That is probably once I get rid of the. I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Okay. So now I need to center this. Get this, get the stone portion coming out. Just. Wait, wait, I need the circle part centered. Right there. And then let's go grab another one. And actually remember to grab it this time. Yeah, they are. I mean, they are in real life too, but I, I've been working on mine here personally, but getting that that level just right with the uh, with the shelf is a pain in the butt. 
I need anything else before I leave here? Oh, yes, I need... Wait, I got enough. I got enough, okay. What's up, King of Source Rex? Ooh. So I can't, I got on a little bit early today, and I did this. I'm trying to read that name. Jamgabar, how can I? Never mind. Now I got your name. Take a look at that wolf. It is definitely not on there like you would normally see it. He's, he's all... So I, I was able to cover just a little bit of the stand. I couldn't quite get more of the stand to get covered, because it's really difficult to do. I have to, where the hell to go? Right here. I have to use this, and it's a huge pain in the butt. So I have to do it like this. And you only get so much rotation. Like, like it barely rotates. But it gives you just a little bit on his tusk. So it was a matter of trying to fit the tusk in there just right. Game cheats mod. I, I'm. This is all vanilla. Everything. 100% vanilla. And I, I'm not saying that because I'm like, oh, I don't like mods. I, I'm happy with mods. Uh, and I would be using the uh, Builder's Companion if I wasn't stupid. Because for some reason, I just my brain doesn't work and I, I have a hard time figuring out Builder's Companion. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I don't know. Sometimes my brain is just old and doesn't want to work sometimes. There we go. So we got just barely his and her shower, right? We got a his and her sinks. Uh, that That's just a placeholder for now. We got a little toilet. This is awesome over here. I sunk that one down two blocks to get the, the shower to give a, a, a spout right into the the uh, bathtub. I just started working on this, and and this this is what I'm doing for for central drain. So think of it like a like this whole thing is a bath room. And uh, I tried to put grates in there, so I tried this. Unfortunately, it only goes spike up, and I don't think we want to be walking on spikes. And <laughs> I can't get it to go spike down. So that kind of failed, but that's okay. Yeah, no, I I, I like I like this way is because what we're gonna do over here, this is gonna go down. Originally, I was gonna go back, but that is the wall. Literally, one block behind this is the the boundary. So we've got this nice, sweet thing, and it's, it's got this really cool light and the down light too, which I didn't actually do on purpose. It just kind of happened, and I was like, yeah, I like that. This is the front, because this is the king and queen's bedroom. So this is the, the king's office. Waiting room here. This is that balcony you saw in the pictures, if you saw the pictures. This is the, the big hollow hall room. So the waiting room, I've still got to flesh it out some more books and whatever. The uh, still somewhat unfinished... <laughs> Of course, yes, of course the queen's going to smell it. <laughs> but uh, I've got the, the kitchen in here. I don't know what who has seen what, but you got the whole baking area over here. Really nice range hood up there. I'm very, very happy with that one. Cool uh, well room. I don't know what you want to call this. Got all of our ales and spirits in there. So far, this side's really all that I've worked on. I've done, I've fleshed all this out with these beams. I got the this big ass beam in the middle. That's the columns. So this huge, huge beam for the middle that mirrors the two end. So you got that beam on the end, this beam in the front, and then there's yeah, water closet. I I mean, I was going to make that originally. Now I'm not saying I won't still do that. I could still do that. I got the space. This now connects to... Thank you for the sub, Jump Bar. Um, this now connects the basement. So the idea behind this was it originally came up like this, but there was some kind of a calamity, and it broke through, and we got rocks that broke through. We got a little makeshift thing here. They had to come through the temporary, you know, come through it. They've got 
scaffolding holding the damn thing together and then you come up here right into the basement all the flowers and pots are over here now I did leave them just in case so people didn't get too confused and then the new armory so it's all armor down here all weapons up top and it's now all connected yeah the lighting the lighting snaps pretty good slaps not snaps slaps pretty good but I, I'm, I'm real pleased with how that all came out this I still don't know what I'm doing with yet but once we get done with the king and queens area and her little secret garden and stuff we'll move to the other side the other side I can get with lava break. Yeah, no, you're not. I love the Builder's Companion. Some of the stuff they do on that is outstanding. It's just kind of like, all right, thank you, thanks for coming. Have a good evening. Uh, it's one of those things where, okay, so I'm of two two sides of a coin here, two two sides of the fence. Because this public resource world is for everyone, I don't really want to build it with mods or the builder's companion or anything because it is possible it might affect someone else's game when they try to load it and they don't have it now so far i believe builder's companion works just fine if someone loads the game and they don't have builder's companion as far as i'm aware but it's one of those things you never know some update might break things i don't want put the public resource world to get broken and then i have to figure out how to fix it or something or we have to wait till a mod or a thing gets gets updated for people to even use it so that's kind of part of why I'm keeping this as vanilla as possible also nobody before me uh, crazy loon who built it nobody used any mods or builders companion before I place all parts I can still own my world without the game cheats running but I understand that logic yeah it's and then there's the other side of the coin FPS like, I'm sitting down here, and I'm at 51 FPS. I have a 13900K, and yes, I know the issues with the 13th Gen Intel. A 4070 Ti Super, 32 gig of RAM, on an NVMe. And I'm at 50 FPS in here, because the more you dig, the more stuff you place, the more containers you have, the worse the FPS gets. So, I don't want to overload the public resource world to the point that, like someone gets on with a laptop that has a gig of RAM and they can already only barely run enshrouded and they try to load PRW and it's like their laptop starts smoking, you know? So I I, tr I I like building cool things, but I try not to go like nuts. Honestly, this this whole hollow hall is already nuts. And I'm like, oh, shit, I might as well just keep fit going with it. But it's one of those things where I still feel like I should be careful and not go super crazy because then who knows what I'm gonna do to somebody else's computer when they load it alright let's get a little bit of extra kinda fancy in this too if I can okay will it snap just right to there yes that I like I like that too where'd my hammer go there it is I just love being able to place any plant I want yeah no I know um, I'm I'm looking forward to so we already know Keen wants to do a creative mode it's not like they're like ah screw you guys we're not going to do it the issue becomes because this is a proprietary uh, engine and I for the life of me can't think of the name of the engine unicorn engine or something um, they literally have to build the tool for us it's not like uh, Unreal Engine or Unity where they have the ability to do m mods built into it Keen has to create it for us and if I were them not being but if I were them I'd wait till the end because why would you build something now that through various updates is going to change and get all effed up and then you have to change that when you're still trying to fix the or finish the game I think I'd want to wait till the end too. So, if that's their plan, which I think it is, I I, I totally understand, and I'm totally down. Uh, we need, we need a, oh, I know what we need. We need another one of these. I need to build another one of these, and have a bench over here, 
as like a undressing room kind of thing. Kind of bridges till the end. Yeah, no, and Keen loves it. I, I've I've seen several people besides just Toast and Cub talk about it. Um, uh, Miss 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 Car, Miss Miss Fear. There's one dev that jumps in every once in a while to Discord, and I've seen them talk about it, and they like it. It's just they can't say, "Oh yeah, we officially support it," because for obvious reasons. Okay, let's do. All right, so the bathtub is definitely very, seems to me very ladylike. I, I can't imagine the king's going to be like, yeah, I need to take a bath, man. So let's put some, uh, maybe that. Maybe she longs for her kingdom because she's not originally from here or something. Soaked in Lego Fortnite recently, but almost ready to jump back in here. Have you ever tried Lego? I, I've tried some Lego stuff. I have not tried Lego Fortnite. Um, what was the last Lego thing I played? It's been a long, long, long time. All right, get a little bit of something to. Oh, that's gonna be in the way in it. No, I can still get in there. All right, still works. I need to get one of the little plants. That's what I do. A little plant put up here, and we'll call it a good-smelling plant to keep the naughty smells away. <laughs> so far, our base building keeps posting new kits for the pa the palette for buildings. We're going really nice. Not as nice as modern shrouded, of course. Well, man, and shrouded is its own monster. Oh, you know what? I got all this stuff down here. I might as well grab them from here. And 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 shrouded is literally a monster. I mean it. This thing just came out of damn near nowhere. Uh, do I, where do I have the little ones? There they are. Okay, what kind of little ones? Maybe we do a couple of them. A couple cutesies. Uh, let's just get one for right now. And then uh, maybe this color too. Oh, it went straight to there. Okay, fine. Um, Let's see. Oh man, Mod of Valheim 2. Uh, did you happen to see? So I have No Man's Sky also. <laughs> I'm going to be careful when I say this. Who the hell ever de ever built the ship flying on a planet needs to be thrown into space. Because what the hell is that? Trying to fly a ship when you're on planet, when you're, you know, you're down there, I'm just like this is the worst experience I've had, and and it really turns people off at first because you're like, "What is this?" You know, I'm used to like proper ship flying space games, and I'm sitting there trying to control my ship, my very first ship, that piece of crap you get when you start, and it just isn't working. Yeah, no, no, yeah, that, yeah, that's it. That's a really good description. It's. <laughs> That's that's a fantastic description. Okay, so I like that. All right, so we got a little bit of plants in there. You know, maybe maybe they're good smelling plants to get rid of the foul smells. Uh, I do need to put a bench in here and and build another one of these guys. But yeah, I I, I like No Man's Sky. Um, Valheim. Did you happen to see to Deep Rock or Deep, to, uh, whatever? The publisher did a whole thing on live on YouTube two days ago. And 1.0 is coming. Valheim. Now, okay, let's be clear. <laughs> when they say 1.0 is coming, that doesn't mean it's coming this month or next month or maybe even this year. Uh, 1.0 is Deep North. They've already stated that Deep North is going to be still difficult, but it is not going to ramp up from Ashlands. Uh, they did get a fair bit of negative feedback from how difficult Ashlands is. And so, while Deep North isn't going to be the pla or um, not the planes, the first one. Um, uh, damn, what's the first biome name? Man, it's been too long. I can't remember. No, no, not the first biome where you start the grasslands, whatever they're called. So it's not going to be like that chill, but it's not going to be Ashlands or Mistlands hard. It'll it'll just be like, you know what, Meadows. That's it. 
I imagine it'll be like planes. About as difficult as the planes. By the way they were talking about it. Uh, there are still going to be other small updates. Like we've got the Swamp Witch coming now? Soon? Now? Now or soon? Something like that? Um, I've got... I've got more, believe it or not, I've got more hours in, in uh, Valheim than I do in this, and I have 400 and some god-awful number of hours in a Shrouded. Okay, let's see, I need... I, I, I'll, I'll admit, I have not jumped in and done Ashlands yet. I've, I've completed Mistlands, but I have not actually gone into Ashlands yet. I have been busy with other things when that came out, so uh, I just didn't get a chance to jump in. But I, I really, really like... Okay, what did I come up here for? I need a bench. That's this way. Alright, so let's look at chairs and see what we got. I think we'll put this at his desk inside. He's already got one for his outside desk. I've got stools in there, so I'll put a stool by the bathtub. We'll need some need a bucket as well. So I feel like it should be more like polished wood because you if you're still wet, you're not going to want to have a fabric seat. And even though this would look nice, I feel like you would not have that either. Coolest part of Lego is the fact that they have working machinery in it. You can build cars. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, so, so it's like the Lego movie where the, how, what do they call them? The architects or whatever, the super, and they they could build different things and then make them work. So it's kind of like that. Oh, that's cool. That'd be really interesting. I'm also considering. Changing bed to something. I don't... I, I, I'm one of those idiots I don't like the palm wood. The That king-size bed is just hideous in my opinion. Maybe I'm just a jerk. I could put that inset with a plant in it and maybe... Let's see, polished bedside... I still need to come up with some kind of a bedside table for them, too. I just don't know what yet. These are too big. Those don't look right. Oh, let's get some more pictures, because I need to make another one of these things. Oh, I could put some of the... Okay, let's just... Max these back out. I don't need a bunch of these little ones. Downside is you can't, you can just automatically get all the built pieces. You have to wait to pay for them. Those are to pay the game freely. Oh, okay. Alright. Years worth of kits is a hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, it's money, but that's not that bad. And to be fair, free to play games, they have to make money somehow. It's, you know, there's got to be some way for them to get something from people. Yep, I think we're going to change that with that. I think I like that better. Where'd my bench go? There's my bench. Alright. So we have this jobby. And then we'll have like a. Okay, let's go get my my tool. Let's see, let's do... Okay, let me look at this here. Let's go like that. Start with this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Missed. No, no. I just want the floor, bro. Stop doing that. There we go. Cover 
with center to a point. It's where I live in Shadow because you can do everything right out of the boat, no DLC, just, yeah, 20, that's just pretty much fact. I'm I'm super pumped for uh, update four. Move over, you jerk. Eh. I'm I'm real excited for the possibilities of what we're getting. There's that one. Go there. All right, so we come like that, and then we go there. So there's been um, several of us kind of theory crafting the what, the when, the where, and all that stuff. Originally, we kind of thought, okay, well, it's probably going to be over in the west, and, or sorry, in the east, excuse me. Come on, get up there, get up there. Oh, shit, that thing's going to be in my way, isn't it? Oh, got it. And, of course, it will go north to some extent, and blah, blah, all that stuff. I actually now think it might be almost the entire north of the map. I do still think we are either going to be tasked with a quest to go through the ancient gate, the ancient uh, bridge, or that structure over in Nomad that's the dam, um, and then we'll we go in there or some or something happens the dam gets blowed up or something and that's how we find out about the the biome itself something to that effect i got to see where i'm at level wise it's right there it's really hard to do there we go but uh based off of you know all the teasers and everything i i think the biome is going to be absolutely freaking massive like Way, way bigger than people think. Way, way bigger than even I thought. So, we still have... No, okay, no, no, no. I don't mean going any further east. I mean over in the east that we have now, then go north. We still have further to go to the west. Me meaning there, even before they extended the borders to make it look more natural... There was already uh, area to the west. So we still have more there. And then... Let's see, do I want to come from this side or come from the front side? Uh, put that there for a minute. Put this out. And then we can't go any more to the east. We can't go any more to the south. So I'm, I think... And it, who knows? I'm just some rando guy on the internet. I, I think it's going to end up being a lot of the... Uh, Nice. Looks like hinges. Perfect. I think it's going to be a lot of the north. Like, way, way more than than we're thinking. No. No, I don't, I don't think there's any shot in hell they're going to hit 1.0 in January. I think it's going to be like next summer. Well, okay, we already know, now I don't know if they're calling this a biome, but we already know that they do have a whole bunch of underground planned. And I don't just mean like, ah, they're going to go, there's underground already there. People have found it by turning off the damage that the that the red shroud, you know, how, how it eats up all your, your timer. So we already know the underground exists. We just can't easily access it. You have to, you know, you have to cheat to get, well, cheat, whatever. You have to uh, exploit to get to it. So we already know it's there. 
We already know there's whole ass cities that are just, there's nothing to it. Like, I mean, full ass bridges, castles, chains coming down, all kinds of stuff, but with no enemies. Um, someone, I don't remember who it was that found that. And so the question is, is that going to be a biome or is that just going to be an extension somewhere like what they do with the hollow halls? And I don't, I don't know. And I'm, I'm on the fence about how that's going to end up. But that could be a biome, and then that would give us more space. But the, I think it's going to be mountains is one biome, and then I think the whole west is going to be another biome. So I think we actually only have two biomes coming with update four, and then whatever the next one after that is. Oh my god, go from this side. That's, and then and then underground would be something. Other, maybe. Okay. There's that. Let's go put our dude back and, s and see what we like about what I just built. Alright. So that's nice. You technically could get, a get around there, but now you get a nice little uh, space to... Oh, I you know what? Let's put a shelving that would have quote, clothing, like bath towels and stuff like that. I think I want to do that with the small ones, like what Ketmall does. Yeah, no, the, the whole west and kind of like northwest could be a swamp, 100%, right off the jungle. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Toast said yesterday, water is, will be coming. Actual interactable water is planned, but it's not going to happen soon. It's like later, later, like maybe even 1.0 later. But it is, it will happen. There's semi water in the when they hit one million. What they've already sold three million. You talking about copies? Because they've sold three million already. That's what I want. Let's do... How many do we want to do? Let's do two of them. Oh, you mean the road map. Yeah, 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 no, that... Um... Oh, crap. I'm just referring to what Toast said in chat yesterday. See, yeah. What was that earlier today? Maybe it was earlier today. I I linked it on Twitter or on uh sorry on Discord on the PRW's Discord. I linked his post. Um, okay, let's do. Let's inset these. I think it'll look nice if we do that. But yeah, um, water will be cool. The, what their definition of actually interactable, that's going to be interesting. So, what I do know, and and this is, you know, still you still got to take anything I say even with a grain of salt. Uh, I need to come back one on the top. Do I or do I want to leave that as... You know what? Let's do it with the red. No. Well, no. I don't like it. Let's leave it and we'll put like a jewelry box up there or something. So this would be for like clothes, towels and bath salts and stuff like that. Um, okay. So they want to tie the water to the story. And... He didn't give away too much, and I got this also secondhand from somewhere else, so now I'm, it's thirdhand to you. They want to tie it into the story that unlocking water is how we fix Embervale, the main storyline. So us fixing Embervale, the water comes back. And so, now, how it comes back, I don't know. What I'm hoping is like with... Minecraft, 
that water is a placeable block. Now, it would probably be placeable as terrain, and that's fine. I'm totally fine with that. The question is, will it have physics? If I if I place it right there, will it go and you know and guzzle down the drain, or will it just sit there like those blocks do? I'm kind of on the fence on which I care. If it has some kind of a translucency to it, I'm kind of cool with it just being static blocks. Then we could make like fish tanks. Not really, but kind of like fish tanks. Like water walls, water features, uh, a, a waterfall that we just, you know, miss a block here and there kind of thing. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm on the fence on how I think it should work, but... Or what I hope it will work as, maybe, is the, the right term. Would you hurry up and grow, buddy? I need to put this block over you. But I, th I I'm, I'm excited for it either way. All right, let's do, let's do one on the other side. This one, we need to get to this block here. Uh, that and that. And then I need to come up here, and then I gotta do that because I can't see anything if I don't. All right, now. Four. Should be enough. Let's grab Mr. Tusky Boy. We need to interact with surrounding blocks procedurally to make it look wet. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to work. I make bodies of water just not found ones. Okay, so it could be both. It could be an in the wild interactable thing, splish splash, just like mud and the the stuff, the tar and all that. Or it's a block, like a terrain block that we can then place and it kind of stays put-ish. Yeah, no, for sure. Because imagine building your own, like, full-ass ponds and stuff. and But then that would have to follow fit the... F oh, I need to build it out if I'm going to do that. Wait, 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 let's see. Where, where's this tusk at? I don't see it. Okay, I need to build this out. Yep, it definitely would give us... Uh, what we don't have in some of those other games. Okay, let's see if this will work. So, static or current goes into the same question of, um, am I in the right spot? I think I'm, we'll try this. Be about right there. Okay, now squat down. Let's do a taller one. Let's do this guy. Yeah, it's not working at all right there. I think I need to push this back a whole ass block. I mean, he needs to go back a block. Because it's not, it's it's too close right there. Okay. Um, sorry, I lost my train thought I was saying I'm, uh, like, flow and all that. So, it, that's a it's a tough subject because that gets into a whole lot of of other conversations about how basically everything in the game works you know do, does it work like fog like the shroud does the shroud doesn't really move it's actually a static object and so is it like that uh, we're gonna get a taste of it with the rain you know, it's going to muddy surfaces and do things. I don't know what things yet, but things. Let's try that. So at least we'll have some idea. Okay, oh. Okay, so down a little bit and he needs to come out. Uh, 
Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, oh, I had it. Damn it. I had it. Alright, let's try this again. So it needs to come out further. So I was in like that, but he's come out like that, and he's come down a little bit. Like that. So that's something that I, and you bring up a good point. That's something I want to be able to do. I want to be able to add shroud to my base, but also the the other. It's not my ceiling. It's it's the okay. And I went down too far. This is fine if I can go. If I go up a little bit and in just a tiny bit, the the way this thing is because it's so vertical, it's not wanting to bend much. Oh man, the fine tuning of all this just to get this just right. Okay, so I need to be. In just a hair more and up just a hair more. Okay. So I'm just above that first little nodule right there. And you go just up. Come in just a little bit more. No, no, too far. How about that? So, uh, sorry, what I was saying was. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Can I get it to... Uh, having plantable plants that then produce the shroud in a small area around them, I think is a fantastic idea. It could be those puff balls, whatever the hell those are called, I can't remember. Shroud, shroud puffs. Or something else. Screw it, that's good enough. I'm tired of fighting it. And it's and it looks good enough, so I'm happy. Alright. Now to get all this back. Oh yeah, 100%. The dungeons would be much better. So, oh, there it is. It just popped. The um so that's another thing we were talking about this in last night. <clears throat> I want to be able to have interactable things. Okay, so that's interactable. This door is interactable. Uh these jobbies right there are interactable. These don't do anything. Sink does nothing. Toilet does nothing. That does nothing. Uh, trap doors. The hidden doors are interactable. But I can't do traps. There's traps in the game. I can't do traps. There's... I say I. We. We as the player cannot do traps. There is... Um, the chest. The chest that opens that we go and we grab stuff. Someone mentioned... What if they gave us the ability to, as a skin, to change our containers into a different looking chest, and then it would open and, and behave like that, but it's actually just our container. And then we could place those around so it looks like that. Yeah, you know, just it's just the, the little stuff. It's just giving us the, the little interactable. Now, that's, that's stuff that I don't care if they do at the very end. I, I'm not worried about it. But it gives us that that um je ne sais quoi it gives us that that like everyday kind of function that we don't currently have that would make the game cool sorry the game's already cool it'd make it even cooler okay so let's turn it like that bingo bongo oh didn't get it quite right <laughs> Can I pick it up still? <laughs> Probably not. 
I th oh. Oh god, I got lucky. I got so lucky. Okay, so... Essentially gotta go like this. Okay. Alright. That is awesome. Still a little bit left, but very, very cool. Looks nice. I like it. And let's do... Yeah. I'll go get another one of these later. All right, see, the building system is part scaling. So, I agree 100% with that. And further from that, while I don't myself play Minecraft, I know of this mod. So, let's take this for example. This block right here is the smallest we have. In Minecraft, there is a mod that turns this one thing into these teeny, teeny, tiny little cubits. So you can make the most intricate creations that have ever melted your computer in the world. Because you turn this, and you imagine this little, like, like the little square in the middle. It's, they're like that little. Of course, unfortunately, it causes absolutely massive lag because the the game is it, the game already runs hard as it is and it's really really hard to get it to do any better and so it, it no you bastard I grabbed the wrong thing so it causes very serious lag and that's not fun however it would be cool if we had something like that I want the this thing thank you because I don't like where it's sitting Let's do like... No, I like that. Let's do like that. Alright. And then maybe this... It's in a little bit more. Closer to the nice comfy rug. It's totally not going to catch on fire being right next to that. No, no. Not at all. Alright, I love the... Picture frames kind of leaning up against. Pain the ass to do, but I love it. Looks great. Let's go back here. I think the bathroom is looking quite swank. Oh, you know what I need? I need some banners. We could put a banner against that guy. We could put a plant on top of that to just give it a little something. Yeah, and I'm, I'm even curious what all they're going to do with it. So, wh what I say by what all they're going to do with it... Um, obviously we know the couscous chicken or whatever the hell it is over in Highlands that you use for your arrows, for the feathers. We, we're going to be able to tame that. We're going to be able to tame mountain goats. Um, we're going to be able to tame domestic dogs, which I, what I think would be cool is if we rescued them. If we had to rescue them from the scav camps. And I think that would be cool to do it that way versus just, oh, there's random domestic dogs out in the wild now. I'm not against that, but I think it'd be cool if we actually had to, to put forth some kind of an effort to get them. To, hey, what are you doing? To acquire them? I think that'd be really neat. Alright, so... Oh no, yeah, I've I've got I've got a, a lox mount in Valheim. It's 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 interesting. It's even funnier the I don't remember I don't know if you ever saw the dude that made a um <laughs> that made an elevator for the lox. Absolutely hysterical. Okay, so let's see. I think we're reasonably good minus like the little bitty touches. We're pretty good in there. The reading nook is good, minus all the books, and maybe a few little knickknacks here and there. The bed's fine, except for I don't love that. That's fine. This is going to be the desk where they do whatever they do. And then we got to go to the downstairs. So i got to make the downstairs. I don't know what to do with all this crap. i got too much crap. Oh, 
Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, doesn't everybody do the pig for? Um, uh, let's see. It's for a, a specific meat or something. I can't remember exactly the reason. I think everybody does the two star uh, boars, like like right away. Like that's that's one thing everybody's always clamoring for for quickly. And the two star wolves. Funny enough, the two star wolves still uh, take a big lose to the uh, <laughs> to the trolls when they show up. I think everybody takes a lose to the trolls when they show up, except for the new Mislins mobs. Well, uh, do Ashlands attack now? Oh, you oh you said you haven't done it. I wonder if they have Ashlands events attack, which would be skeletons and those new um, even worse than skeletons. Um, they're like casters, but they're like undead. I mean, I know skeletons are undead, but I mean, these things are like really, really undead. Boom, get that. I, I really enjoy Mislins. I know there's a lot of people that, uh... They don't like it. They don't like all the mist because oh, you're, you're you're hiding the beauty of it. I'm like, but that's kind of the point in my opinion. And when you do uncover some of it, when you put those little orbs down, I can't remember what they're called. Oh man, it's just so beautiful. I, I really like the way the lands are. I just M Mislins does it for me. That that's my favorite biome. It used to be the plains. Plains is wisps. Yes. Plains was my thing for a long time. I had so many different bases in the plains. It just that 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 was my jam. And then Mislins came out and hey, I said remove you jerk. Oh, it's doing that thing again. You suck. I hate when it gets sticky and then it won't delete. All right, we we'll use this tool. Fine. I like the the dudes in there too. I think they're funny. The the little noises and stuff they make when they talk. Um, can't think of their name. It's been a minute since I played Valheim. Weirdly enough, of all the games that I have tons and tons of hours in, Valheim's the one that I, I never... I never had any thought to, uh... put YouTube videos out or anything with it. There There's some games that I just... I play the game for me. Like Cyberpunk 2077. I do have one video out, and it's just the brain dance for um, Delicate Weapon, because it's amazing. But, outside of that, there's there's games that I, I literally... It's the games for me, I'm not... I don't care, nobody else needs to see it, this is, this is my time. Man, I get that it was a problem in the beginning. It was a problem for me so much, I had to refund the game, because I literally was one of those ones it, it wouldn't even play. I got the... Uh, uh, you, Cyberpunk 2077 has flatlined. Uh, we're sorry for the blow. Whatever. I got that repeatedly. Uh, so I came back after 1.4, 1.6, or 2. Point, it was not 2.0. I was I was there way before 2.0. One point, whichever one f got it basically stable. I think that was 1.6. And man, from then on out, I just man that that game, <laughs> that game's something else. It, it is the best city ever created in a video game. I there There is no better city. What is that sticking on? Get out of my way. While at the same time, it's horrible, man. I would not... Re, in reality, I wouldn't want to live in Night City, but it's... it's Yeah, man, I, I couldn't play it for more than a year after it came out. But I have now, of course, beat it male and female V. I started male, 
and then found out I couldn't romance Judy and about lost my shit <laughs> and immediately made a female character. <laughs> so another thing is the the delicate weapon that uh, performance that Lizzie Wizzy does that that was like like going to a real goddamn concert man it was like it, it was so amazing and it felt like a like a proper actual event and it wasn't a damn bit of CGI in it you know it was like it, it was all in game and it was spectacular I I've never had so many oops missed I've never had so many motions just for like a freaking in-game event as I did with that that Lizzie Wizzy performance. It was so, so good. Alright, so we're going to come down. We do have to turn at some point. Which means this is a little too wide. Yeah, I like the whole dang thing. It just, it's just so good. Okay. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Get in there. Why is it still doing that? There's a piece I'm missing somewhere. Maybe that was it. I've done two or three endings now. Because I, I I did whatever, I don't even remember the name of the ending, uh, with Male V at first, and then realized later that were different endings. I did the one, I went back with Male V and did the one where you just sit there and wait for over four minutes. And eventually, uh, Keanu Reeves gives you a different um, option, uh, which is the option to go in and like solo it or something. That's bittersweet. Okay. And then, which I think a lot of people consider to be the preferred en uh, ending. And then, um, let's see. With Female V, I had... Oh, and so the other one I did with Male V is with the um god I'm stupid um <laughs> the 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 nomad group that has what's has the has the love interest um I had them follow me in and of course smasher uh busts Sal's Sal's face as soon <laughs> as he knocks the door down yeah you know, with Pan Am um so I did that with male V, and then female V. I had had the Moxes, I think, follow me in. I want to say, sounds right. Actually, you know what? I have not done the ending since um, two point one. Uh, so. I chose to not betray uh, Moon because, man, she she was treated like dog shit by Myers, and and they they did her damn dirty, and I I couldn't bring myself to do it. I just couldn't bring myself to screw her over and give her up to Reed. So I ended up having to pop Reed. Okay, so there's that. We need to come in much more than that so that I can turn this and go down. Yeah, the one... It, she also gives you some really awesome shit if you say... if you sent her to the moon. Uh, I have that optic in me. Um, it sucks because you don't get a lot of RAM with it, 
but it gives it gives me access to Blackwall. And quite frankly, Blackwall's OP is is anything, man. And it's it's a really cool effect when you use it. Alright. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five wide? Should I go four wide? Usually go four wide. I did not read the novel, no. And I and I haven't watched Edge Wa uh, Edge Edge Wa Edge Walkers. Edge Runners. I haven't watched Edge Runners. I've watched bits of it, but not the whole thing. I really should, cause everybody loves the David Lu what David Lucy is that right? <clears throat> yeah, it looks better. I can put a little something right here. Yeah, I should watch it. All right, so now I can come down further. And not <laughs> there it is. I wonder where that block went to. Welcome in a couple of people. Uh, okay, so let's go this. It's four. All right, so I need to see where. Yeah, we we could make this like a something pretty substantial okay let's look at the wall though I need to figure out where they're putting that right there No, I know, man. It's like, uh, it's just going to be a little hole, I promise. It's, it's, yeah, it's just a little hole. <laughs> Five hours later, you're like, I don't know where I'm at anymore. <laughs> I haven't seen the day, the sun in a week. I'm hearing noises that sound like flowing water in my headset. It really sounds like flowing water. I'm stupid. It's raining outside. <laughs> oh, I know. Yeah, passages, passages, more passages. Let's keep adding passages because it's fun. Where's this going to go? I don't know. Let's keep going with it. We'll figure it out. Okay, why is that there? What are you doing? I have one single block that's the wrong type. Go away. There we go. That's hilarious that I sit there and I'm like, I can hear water in my headset. No, it's outside raining, you idiot. Alright, I need to see where this is because i got to make sure I don't <clears throat> eclipse my staircase this way. There we go. Dry side of the country, so it won't rain probably until December or later. I mean, I'm I kind of prefer a drier climate. I just don't like it so dry. Like when I lived in um, Colorado, it was so dry. I w I just broke nails just doing nothing. Just just existing, my nails would break and crumble. I'm like, bro, what the hell? <laughs> like, why do you keep doing that? Alright, I need some light down here. 
I still need to figure out what I'm doing with lighting in the main place so that I can start getting rid of all the torches that I have everywhere. Let's see, let's do this. We need that type there. Okay, so that gives us a good start. Um, that's a really good question. I would say probably yes, but they are still a light source, so possibly no. I'm still on, on the probably yes, they're uh, less intensive. Excuse me, I need a drink. That's something I still haven't finished yet, so... Uh, hello, get up there. This ceiling's gonna have... Uh, that's a wall. It's gonna have those. Once I get to it. It's just a lot of work. And I want to lay this all out first. Also, there's gonna be more of that kind of stuff going on. Like, there's gonna be another one over here. Should be something back there, and there'll be something over here as well, uh, just to give it a more 3D space. It's to me, it seems that way. I would think that that is causing more CPU and GPU work, probably CPU, than that. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. See. I just want them to give us an option to let us turn stuff off. That's, that's all I'm asking for. It's nothing special. Just let us turn stuff off. Okay, so... Let's go... Here? With, with the uh, floor? And then we'll decide to go down from here? Or there? Let's look at that first. Just killed my torch. <laughs> He's like, bro, what are you doing to me? And now I can't get back up. Alright, welcome to uh, Building in the Dark. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... I, I think... I think the mods are well aware that... We all mean well. The, the the builders of Enshrouded, we all mean well. But we like to build. <laughs> and we, we like sweet toys. And we like to build. So it's not that it's not that we're mean about it. We just impatient, maybe is a better way. One, two, three, four. So that's five, but includes that, so it's actually four. I can dig it. And then okay, so do I want to go down that way? And then maybe directly underneath here cave like is the could probably do that is her like whatever we're gonna call this thing nope that's not the wrong let's see down down this one there we go nope Come on. There we go. Alright. Then we can keep going down a little bit more and just get a nice fleshed out spot there. And then we'll just go down here. I don't know how buttons work. Alright. There's that. Hit X. Snappity snap. Get rid of that. Let's see. Okay. One, two, three, four. So that's still four, okay. So we need to be lower than that because I want to put 
decent sized trees. We'll go down one more. And... Hmm. We'll see. At some point, I'm going to get to, like, cave-like because I want... I want it to appear like she has this enchanted grove down here. Let's get some light, shall we? See what the hell we're doing. <laughs> There's our holes. No, and the reason I'm doing that is because I download these and then I upload them as a video to YouTube. There's quite a few reasons for that. It allows me to set a thumbnail, a lot of things, and someone told me once, I don't remember who told me, someone said that if you simultaneously stream a Twitch, it actually says, it's on Twitch that says you're not allowed to do two platforms at once, but although there's programs that do it. Someone said that uh, you can lose the file to YouTube, so I, I just... Oh, they did change the rules. So I just download it. It's easy. Af uh, the next morning, I download it, and I just pop, pop it up to YouTube as a video, and Twitch couldn't say anything, although now that you say they've changed it, it doesn't matter. But Plus, that's just more system resources, and I don't want to really deal with it. And two separate... Uh, Stream str chats. I'd have to deal with two separate chats. Uh, one of my friends that streams uh, deals with it, and it drives her crazy because she. Yep, that's not the right button. Because she's constantly having to manage two chats, plus you know playing the game, plus this and that, and whatever. And it's a lot for her. So I'm I'm good. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't remember putting something that low in the ground. So I think we'll do... Um, building... Down to the point that we get to like say, a small room that then maybe opens up into this cavern. Oh, you know what we could do? Okay. So kind of like over here. Down. All right. So kind of like what we did with this, where I took the pickaxe to it and broke through. What if... Okay, so since this is the king and the queen's bedroom, and, you know, people have to get through all this just to be able to get to it, what if this space was like their, quote, panic room back, you know, I don't know what they would have called it back in the day, and it would have had some secret entrance that goes off and, and is a escape tunnel kind of thing. Uh, but then we, inner, inner chamber? Okay, fine, inner chamber. But then we broke through the wall and found this um, this underground glade of, I don't know, just kind of hanging out. So we could do something like that with this. And I think that's something to be quite reasonable. Maybe we even put something here that's kind of in the way... Hell, we could even go as far as um, building across this and having a secret door to this. Yeah, you can see it from the bathroom. You can see there's something. Well, not really. You can't actually see down. So we could do that. We could have it look like this just closes off and has a, but it has a secret door. Unfortunately, we don't have this door. We only have the red. I'll have to figure that out. I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure that out. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Well, that makes sense. Cistern that's dried up. Why is there green here? Oh, uh, I gotta be careful. Okay. I can't go much further that way. Because it's that. <laughs> bookcase. I could do bookcase. Well, yeah. Yeah, because we don't have to have it just be one singular little library. Like, if this is the desk anyway, I could, I could move it there. This over here could be like a proper, quote, library. We could even have ladder that goes up and it's got a little second level or something like that. And this is just a little reading nook, essentially, with the fireplace. And then we could have the bookshelf secret door. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That works. We'll just have it come across like this. Bada bing, bada boom. Everybody's happy. And since that, since this first step is one past this, a wall coming across here would look appropriate. Yep. Yeah. All right. I like it. And then we can put the bookshelves in and do all the all the stuff. I have one. I did put a well in here. I'll show you. Now, this this does not mean it's the only well, but it's right here. This is the kitchen, right off of the the uh, the main hall. It's got a nice little hood, but then we got this chubby. Pr pretty cool little thing right off of the kitchen. I still need to pick it back up and chunk out a few of the pieces at the bottom. Oh yeah, no no, in the cavern I'm gonna do that too. Uh, I want to put like some some nice trees in there not like the big big trees but some nice trees and we'll put a a well in there um definitely quite a few plants probably do some of the blue growth you know make it make it pretty and stuff like that a moon roof hmm i don't think i want to use that if i do a moon roof maybe i I trick the eye and hide the blue block a little bit. All right, let's do. Let's let's see where we're at because it can't be much further. There's a whole ass wall over here. There it is. <laughs> so that's as far over as I can go because that is the hollow hall. But still, I mean, that's not bad, because it can be from this wall, it can be all the way over to this wall, which is actually this whole ass space up here. And, hell, I can make it the whole entire underside of all of this. Like a damn football field size. And it could go that direction. So, yeah. Alright, so come down here, go down here. I think that's going to be tall enough, and we'll, I'm going to do a lot of this cave-like, so let's see. No, nope, needs build area. I know. I know I'm at the wall. I can see it right there. Okay, so if we did... Okay, now... Dun, 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 dun. And since we're doing this, this could also be, this could be the vault. I don't know what we're going to put down here to be the vault, but we could have like weapons and stuff like that. Okay, so, uh, that's, that's a, that's a big question. Um, I didn't start this. This was started by Crazy Loon. This is Public Resource World, the original Public Resource World. And... There are now two others that are active, um, Fort Resources and Wolfix. So this is what's all built. I built the Hollow Hall, and it I built it when 
the update for the hollow halls came out because each one of the NPCs needs a, a housing. And so he's in here. He's in this, you can see his thing right below me. And we have all the things. Like this resource world has everything. And we there was a contest held for this building. Uh, this is the alchemist. I don't remember the name of the person that won, but they built his room here, his uh, house. And then we uh, that was Crazy Loon that held that contest. I held a contest for this one. This is the farmer. She is up top there. And below it is the original basement that Crazy Loon built. Uh, he built this section here. I have extended it. And then he also built the armory, which is this building. So quite a bit of it was here. I have just added on to. Now, as as uh, patches have come out, sorry, updates have come out, I've updated this because I kind of had to. Um, I use this, I, I, that's all I do is build, so uh, I use this constantly. But I moved all the armor down here. Everything is now connected, the basements, I mean. So you can get from here to the regular basement. We can get down into the hollow hall from there. The hollow hall really... It's kind of just a weird passion project for me. It's there's, It doesn't serve a purpose. There's no reason to have it here. It's just something I've been building because I wanted to build something, and it, it's something. <laughs> I, I don't know how the hell is to say it. But yeah, I built all this. built all this in here. I learned how to do these chains in the floor and stuff. How to do... Uh, containers half buried into a wall and also jank and stuff like that. And then the collector's up here. So he has his bedroom here. You know, I just came in and played with stuff and I even put a secret in his place because we're figuring he's kind of a nefarious character so I, I built this thing. I called it the Decimator. It's a terrible name, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, just it. I just like building stuff, and it's probably not the best idea to keep building on a public resource world because I I'm continuing to lower the FPS by doing so. But it's fun. This side over here is going to be. So okay, this side over here is your banquet hall, the kitchen the king's office and the king queen's quarters and then that little glade thingy we're going to do this side is going to be like block housing we're also going to have a jail cell over a prison over here like a brig and we'll flesh this thing out it'll be something one right there i have just used the whole space all the way to the edge right there. I actually went over the edge. This used to go further. Um, the person who did the who did Emily's house, she moved it a little bit. Yep, starting area. So there's your cinder vault. And so since this is a public resource world, I added um, shrines to each of the hollow halls and one to the pike. And then this, I think, is where... So... For update 4, and there's the other Kindle Waste. For update 4, I think, I may be wrong, I think we're going to go, th it's going to take place, the quest line will lead us through here, and I think this might get damaged, like blown up or something. Because this is the dam. The only other possibility, maybe, is that we're going to go through the ancient, um, go under, I should say, the ancient uh, bridge, which is here by the pike. No, no, it's not by the pike. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is, right? No, it's here. It's right here. So it's near the pike. Yes, I don't think we're going that direction. Right here. Um, I think... I. Uh, hang on. I might be able to put a... Wait, I, you, can't, you can't do pictures on this, can you? No. Um... Yeah, no, I can't do pictures. So I think 
the mountain biome is literally going to be just about everything to the north. Now, we can't go anywhere this way. This is actually the end of the world. They just extended it to make it look pretty. I think we're coming up either here or here or maybe both. And honestly, I think it's going to be all the way up. And I think it's going to be almost all the way around. I think it'll end up somewhere around here and be a little bit to the east of Meyer because I think and uh, uh, Jum Gwar, we've been talking oh it was you talking never mind thought it was the other person I, I, I think you're right that this area is gonna be swamp yeah no this is all this is all the starting area yeah it's it's uh I I don't know how to explain it I just got I just kind of got to bug up my ass to build a hollow hall, and I started building a hollow hall. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but, I mean, it's cool. I like it, and people seem to like it. So, thanks for the sub, JTX. Um, I, yes, sort of. Here, I'll show you. We're going to hop over to my uh, private world. This is my test facility where I, this is how I make all my videos. I go and I try to build shit, and if I can figure something out, I make sure I can recreate it, and then I make a video about it. So, up here, my testing grounds. I have actually, so back before um, we got the hedge, before we got the hedge row, I had actually built one myself. So I learned how to build with the flower soil. So th this is not that he the hedge that we can do now. This is what I built. I also built topiary with flower soil. You, it's it's you have to put down some soil first to make it look like a, a stalk. You know, obviously we can do all this way easier now. But back in the day, I I learned how to do some of that stuff. I also did some weird things with the roofs. So this thing kind of looks like it belongs in a wheat field. Like this is how they, they bundled it up together. So I have done some sculpting. These look like spikes that would be on your uh, castle wall. Again, roofing. That's the tar roof. Uh, I built a uh, sawhorse. So, and a mailbox. So I've done some. But I have not gone to the lengths like the dude... Or, or gal, it could have been a gal, that uploaded, uh, what was the contest build called? I don't know, had a big-ass horse on the first picture. Huge, huge horse. Really cool looking. I have not gone to that kind of length. Because that requires sculpting in, like, dirt and stone and whatever else. That's, it's, it's a bit much for my brain, I think. I'm sure I could figure it out, but I don't know how cool I'd make it. There's another one. But they use uh, um, they use Builder Companion. <laughs> they made a big evil rabbit, and it's it's awesome. It's it's the coolest thing I've seen. Uh, just a just a giant evil rabbit, and I mean big, big. This thing's like uh, four, five meters tall. <sighs> JS game maybe. You'd, you'd have to go onto the Discord and look through it. It, it. It's up there somewhere on the Builder's Companion thread. But it's it's absolutely hysterical. Because one of the angles, it doesn't look... It just looks like a rabbit. And then you get closer to it and it's this big evil... It, okay. <laughs> Monty Python and Search for the Holy Grail. It's that rabbit, but gigantic. Oh, or that too. Donnie Darko rabbit. Yep. I could see it being that too. Did I not put light down here? Apparently I didn't. Alright. So how much of this... So maybe all of this, and then we go this direction and off that way for the glade. Hide a troll. Okay, I'm going to go back to the other one. I'll show you something. Troll. I'm trying to think. How can I build a troll? 
Yeah, I know. Cause I want to, I want to put them in my little prison cells. I want to stick some of the, some of the enshrouded dudes down there. You know, the ones that aren't going to cause much damage or anything. So there's that. And this. He's a little bit tiny. He's he's a, he's a wee he's a wee guy. <laughs> yeah, make them bartenders. That'd be great. Then you got heads in a box. Damn it. Where's the where's this time? I hear it. It's coming. There it is. <laughs> Stupid bees. They hate me. Yeah, so part of the problem with the heads, I don't have any over here right now. They're so maniacally large compared to anything we could do if you didn't sculpt it out of like stone or or some of the materials. So it, it'd be tough, but yeah, I mean that could be cool, especially if you did it with um, if you did it with Homeboy over here. Come on, nee, 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 nee. if you did it with Homeboy over here, um, I could see that looking really good. I'm trying to think how you would do the body, though. See, and that's another thing. Like, all of these props, they're in the game. You know, the bones. They're they're 3D modeled. They're in the game. They're laying on the ground. We go over, we pick them up, right? Let, let us be able to place those things. The, the food, the potions, the bandages... Uh, yeah, the giant bones. L let us be able to place that stuff. It's already sitting there. Just let us, you know, let us just stick, you know, what if I want to put a couple bones on this table? Like, we're, I don't know, we're, we're studying bones. Just give us little, uh, I think people will call that clutter. Just give us the clutter. Let us, let us, yeah, everything placed. That's, that's right. Usually... It would have a mod. There would be a mod called everything, a uh, place everything, or something like that. Or uh, Valheim, you just go into uh, console, place at me, blah blah blah, whatever it is you're wanting, and however many of it you want. But yeah, it, it you know just doing all that kind of stuff would be awesome. Wait, I thought you needed. Okay, hang on a second. I know you do tilde for Valheim and you do stuff, but I thought you also needed the the one the one main one. Um, ah, man, it's been a minute. I'm sorry, it's been probably a year since I played Valheim, so I I'm not remembering correctly. In any case, uh, if you do not have to load stuff, that's cool. What did I put down there so far? Oh, I know what I put down there so far. The shower. For the uh, bathtub. That's fine. We can put the wall down. Put the ceiling down low. Yeah, Thor. Yeah, Thor. H hammer, hammer. So ham yeah, something hammer. You're right. Right, yeah. Hammer something. I don't know what it's called either, but yeah, that sounds right. Because I think you need that to enable the tilde to work. I, I agree. It, you know, I. This, these bandages. They're on the ground. Why can't. I, I could pick them up in the game. Why can't I just stick them somewhere? Oh, you can? Okay. Or, uh, or, or these bombs are on the game, or this, this potion. Why can't... I can pick it up in the game. Let me place it on a table. Let me, let me just stick this in my hand and, and put it on a table. Uh, it probably wouldn't work that way because it's a use item. If I hit the button, it will just put it. So you'd probably have to make it so that... Uh, like a radial wheel. Where I can place things that are in my bag or something. Oh, with the uh, Builder's Companion. Oh, so, talking about hammer. That's something I want really bad. If I have this damn... 
uh, let me uh, let me try to remember which way I'm thinking here. I want my world to not be destructible unless I choose it to be. Because I can't tell you how many times that number button six right there that I have those damn bombs on it. <laughs> I've accidentally hit that and oops, well that's going to take some work to fix. Uh, <laughs> so I, I would like the ability, I don't care if they put it in a setting. So, so give me a settings under game, I don't know. Where okay, damage display numbers, uh, uh, base immunity, uh, damage, uh, I don't know something to where like the exploding barrel. See, that's another thing. More of these worlds would be hosted if those jerks weren't coming in and blowing up barrels to kill players all the time, which really infuriates people. There you go. That's there you go. Just put it on the flame altar and uh, invulnerability on off. I don't know something like that. But yeah, I would like, I really would like to have that option because it it gets super frustrating. And, you know, I, I take it in stride. I'm not, like, losing my mind about it. But it does suck when I blow up half of my base and I'm not paying attention. It's not fun. I definitely don't enjoy doing that. Hey, get on there. Okay, I do got to go up a little bit. But I got to be careful. I'm going to do it by hand because I don't want to mess it up. <clears throat> I mean, t well, that's kind of the thing. Technically, we have PvP, and it's just jerks running around uh, on on your world and and blowing up barrels near you. Uh yes, I do know about that. I saw Katar K uh, Katiri complaining about that one day, or somebody. the indestructible blocks. Um, Turk said something about it. I don't remember what he said the fix was. Because I, I follow the, the thread. I just I just don't use the mod at current. Okay. And then let's... Uh, I suppose we could start having the cave come in here a little bit. Starts creeping in, maybe. I like the idea of having maybe an armory down here. So we get like the best gear on a few of the stands. So the king comes down and he's, he's got his really good, good armor down here or something. And put in some, quote, chests. I know we can't put the real ones, but... Forbidden blocks, yeah. Okay, let's do... Okay, how much further do I want to go, though? I think it should be an okay size room, but not, like, massive. Okay, maybe we'll come this way a little bit. And maybe we'll stop there... Seems like a decent enough size room. I like the idea that the rock is already kind of Im imposing into you, imp uh, encroaching into you, excuse me. So then let's do a wall that we actually break into. Yeah, well, I mean, I could always just put I always just fake it, fake it till you make, make something like that, right? Fake it till you make it. I'll have to put something else on that. No, I won't. I'll just do it this way. There you go. No more shower drains. Okay, one more shower drain. Actually, I kind of, I think I kind of want to leave that one shower drain. Like it'd be drip, drip. I 
the mod blocks, you can place a black voxel. Wait, is, is it... Is it black as in it's just solid black, or is it more like a smoke? Where it casts a shadow. Solid color, okay. I need some more light down here. Oh, okay. Alright, so we're going to put up walls. We're going to make this just like it would be a room. And then I'm going to break through the walls. Okay, so... No, careful. Man, I better check, make sure that I didn't go through the top. No, we're good. You're a little tight, I think, on my... You're encroaching on my space a little bit, mister. Maybe. Maybe we'll leave it. Make it a column or something. Okay. So I kind of want all that, but it wouldn't be down here, I don't think. I think, I think it would be, like, coming down from the ceiling. Kind of like that. Let's take the wall up a little bit more in the spots where it can. And then, let's have fun. So let's say... Should I do it this way or should I actually make a proper door? I feel like she wouldn't be wanting to walk through a broke-ass uh, hole in the wall every day. That seems a little weird. So when you mean blue, it's just blue. It's not blue and it has brightness. It's just, oh, hi, I'm blue. Without the abadi abadai. Yeah, right. All right. So this is going to be our cave entrance. And I think besides like some pavers and stuff, I'm going to try to keep it as much stone as possible. And then we'll put some columns in and things. Well, yeah, I mean... Just because it's in the Builder's Companion doesn't mean necessarily that... I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Yeah, get back to that block. Um, that it'd be part of the game, but that does also doesn't mean necessarily that... Because uh, it, it has to be in the game code to be in the Builder's Companion as far as I'm aware. So it could be placeholder items. Like, uh, when Keen has to test things, maybe they have a placeholder for black. Okay, what does black do? Okay, black does that. All right, how about blue? What does blue do? Etc. and so forth. All right, I like that better. Um, let's do... Yeah, let's do out one more. Let's go to this block. Get it a little chonkier. Have a proper column coming up this thing. I can't see. 
do this one. Stupid camera. Okay, we'll go to this one. It'd be hilarious and also made me cry a little inside if I miss if I got that wrong. <laughs> They'd come up and I'm like one off entirely. I'm like, no. All right, let's go to this. That's this. I really wish we could put blocks beneath us. That's another complaint. When you do the the static pieces, you can only place them at your level, or actually one block higher than your level, technically. All right, so we got that. Yeah, Bill Cam. So that was something that. JS game did really well with Builder's Companions. He he really got good at the at the camera for taking pictures and whatnot. I don't know if anybody else ever really really worked on it that hard, but he got real good at it. So that's solid. That's solid. Okay, let's come down. We gotta. Oh no, that's not fat enough. Okay, so now we got a nice fat column coming down. We got some stuff like that. We could, okay, so just because she doesn't want to go through a, uh, a broken spot doesn't mean we can't have broken things because, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm on the, I'm on the fence about it because I kind of want to do it, but I kind of don't want to do it. And so what we'll do down here is this will be like an armory. We'll have some chests in here. We'll have some some of the jewelry boxes. Um, valuables. Valuables and stuff. And then, and then that'll be her thing. And we could put in a... We could put in a, a false door that doesn't actually go anywhere. But that's pretend that's the, the way to get out. All right, let's do this, if you'll let me do it. Let's come in here, let's get some light. Maybe. That side didn't work too well. All right, and let's do, go back to this. I definitely want some of this to exist. I don't want to take all of it out. And I want to come down a little bit so that I'm not having to worry too much about upstairs. Oh, we could do like like some big arched I use arch in quotes some big arched um, column supports in this space. Almost like, uh, think of the Mines of Moria, uh, when they're running from the Balrog, well, actually, they're running from the, the goblins, and then it, then, everybody's running from the Balrog. Kind of like that. Maybe not quite as, as thick as many of them. Supporting the space above, which then also supports the bedroom above. Let's get on the heavy guns.
Oh, careful. I don't want to go too far. I can't go much further than that at all. Or I'm going to hit the wall, and I don't want to hit the wall. I don't want to see any of the original structure in here. some more light down. So we come in, we kind of meander downward a little bit. Come on. Try to remember how to do this. Okay. I want just a little bit. That kind of worked. All right, back to the big guns. It yeah, worked okay. Let's see. I ought to, um, I'm not very good at it, but I, I can see if I can do some of the blue block as like a, a little, little brook in here, uh, cheese the sides of it with, uh, the dirt for grass to kind of help to make the, the block not be so prominent. doing now. Alright, I need to see something real quick. I can definitely go higher than that. I just need to be careful. Can't reach much. down. This honestly might already be about big enough. I want to come down some more though. So let's go... Let's go down to this level. So we can have, yeah, we can have over like, um, I got a side over here somewhere. I mean, not suitable surface. Oh, because you were inside of it. 
we could have like again we'll think of a uh, Lord of the Rings the uh, Hornburg where the the deeping wall has that one little grate where the crick comes through it we could have the same kind of thing like it's a spring and it comes through and then and then it maybe goes to the well I know that's kind of cheeky but goes to the well and okay we definitely need more height and it's not going to be good enough so do we go down let's all right let's go down more So come down, and then maybe no sharp edges. Thank you. So maybe we come down, and then maybe meander this way a little bit, and then we come down again. That's funny. <laughs> That turned out amusing. Alright, back onto that. Go to this. Yeah, I don't think that's going to come down that far. Try. Ooh, probably not. No best viewers for you. Actually, that turned out pretty all right. Let's come down, come down some more. It's pretty tall, and I can still chunk some more out of that in a few spots. I need to make the cave look better than just giant chunks of squares missing from it. Figure out where we can put some columns to have some protection in here. figure out if I'm going to do like how I'm going to do paving because I don't know how I'm going to do that just come up like that I need to break a little bit more That's very very smooth, very very good, very natural path. We could even put like a little barrier right here that keeps this stone from coming in. That looks a little weird. No, I just want that. Ah, oh, damn it, missed. There we go. Just wanted that a little bit. So come in, we come down. A little pool. A little pool that we have. Man, see, this is when we need water. So you have, have a, a little pool with them, like some lily pads or something, some flowers in it. I, I think this could be big enough. It's it's now trying to figure out how I want to decorate it. I'll I'll chunk a little bit more out of this ceiling. What time is it? How long I've been on? Two hours forty five. We'll go about fifteen more minutes, get it to three hours. Whoops, missed. Alright, 
let's go to this so we can uh, let's go to this one so it's even more odd shaped a little more natural shapes than even the square one A little better looking. Just chunk a little right there. Yeah, that little piece is weird. Alright, let's see how we like this. That certainly looks better. It looks a little more realistic. Well, most of it. Good. These look a little weird over here. Let's fix that. Too many straight lines. go and then maybe you a little bit and all right I would say this looks uh, quite cavern like not too engineered a little bit of spots where it's a little weird but I think it looks pretty good. And I think now even I might bring it down a layer or something. A secret layer, yes. Very secret. Because we're going to make the secret bookcase up here. Right here. Okay, let's And then the, the ceiling is going to actually come down quite a bit when I do the, the lights whatever you want to call these. Once I figure out the, the final pattern, how I want to do that. Okay, some of this looks a little weird. That one little knob there. That's a little better. Mm, let's just leave that. Okay. This goes there. We come here. Come down here. And then even get a little bit further down. We'll figure something out to do with that. And we'll put a uh, well in here. We'll get some of the smaller trees. So then the moon, the moon ceiling. What do we do with that? I know what we're going to do with it. We're going to use the growth, the blue growth, the bioluminescent growth, and we'll have that. Oh, okay. So whatever we figure out for pillars, right? Any kind of columns, the supports, 
we could have the blue growth that kind of winds around it and uses it as like you would string light running across your your patio um, you'd use the supports going across it on your deck and we could do the same kind of thing with the blue luminescent light running across and I think in here if we do any kind of light it's gonna be straight up torches because it makes sense to have torches down here maybe maybe we'll use the fancier ones because that makes a little more sense um, okay let's go let's go grab a few items that we know we're gonna want and the bees are back again where you at? I heard you on this side that's weird I heard them okay um, let's see we need a well I think this well probably we would do one without a top. We'll do the basic well. We're going to find it. There. I think this one makes more sense than that one. I mean, this one looks nicer. Eh, fine. We'll do the nicer looking one. Right, so well, and let's go take a look at trees and shrubs and stuff. I do not know how big these things are going to get. And that makes me a little nervous. So we can do some of this stuff in there. Uh, definitely use these guys quite a bit because, for obvious reasons. I kind of like, like, like blues. You know, the, the blues, the purples, I think that works really well. Redwood, red leaf, rebel wood. I can't think of how big that gets. And I don't think the, the Kindle Waste stuff. Definitely no, not, no, no, no. Definitely no on those. It's in the regular stuff. Those are too big. Evergreen may be, but I don't think that looks that right down there. Hmm, don't know. Where's the rest of them? Here? No. Where'd I put them? Where'd I put them over here? I missed it. Oh yeah, no, these are them. So, let's go out and take a look. Okay, the Revel Wood one, this will work, because that's not too big. And I think that would look good in there. Which one's this? Is this the other Revel Wood one? If that is, I think that would work as well. I mean, I suppose we could put one evergreen. I'm just afraid they're going to get really big. Definitely no Highland stuff or Nomads. Way too big. Alright. Let's try... Try a little bit of that. I'm sure we're going to need dirt to plant those in. Let's just take the stack. I'll come back. Need a bunch of that. We're going to use probably the whole damn thing, too. So, can you define gem? Like, are we talking 
like a diamond, a square, a triangle, uh, I mean, within reason because we're using squares, but... Because I, I've never, personally, I have never found this block to be that impressive. Like a long, oh, I know what you mean. Like a, which one is it that comes down? Stalactite or stalagmite? But crystalline, like you would see in Cal El's uh, Ar Arctic Circle Palace thingamabob. When Superman first goes to his thingy, thingy there. Okay, I'm going to have... Can I reach up there? I can reach up there. Okay. So. Let's see what I can figure out. Uh, I can barely reach up there. Okay, let's get up a little bit then. No, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Almost looks like I'm giving someone the middle finger. Okay, I'm gonna try something. So now that we've got a base of it. Yeah, I know. Pointy tips would be nice. You can kind of do it with rock if you're careful.
So then, now this won't be the whole King Caboodle, but something like this. So you come down and come around to it like that. We just, we need pointy, we need points. But I think you get the idea, and then do some kind of column support and have that stuff reach out, go around the column, like come down the columns to really brighten it up some. And that could be the moon sky, the the, the moon thingy. Um, and then we need trees. Let's go ahead and do a couple, couple spots real quick. I'm just gonna do it like this, be easier. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, that's what the hell. Alright, let's see if that's enough space. Alright, you gonna stick around, you can disappear. Looks like you're gonna stick around. Okay. So that is enough space. I'm going to have to do them one at a time because I'm not going to be able to remember where they're at. Uh, no, I know. It would be nice if they added green. And maybe eventually I'll take them down and just make a spire of that. Of the blue luminescent, maybe. We'll see. Hey, why didn't you go all the way back up? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. It's one of those things where it's going to have to grow on me for a little bit for me to really, really get a sense for it. Okay, so there definitely needs to be one like right here. And put red right there. So we got red, red, red in the back, green on the right. So let's maybe put like a stone bench and some flowers over here. So we'll put another green one over here. We'll we'll cap it at five for now and we'll see how that works, see how that looks. Dirt. Okay. Green. Aha. You're a jerk. What's not enough free space? You got tons of free space. Why did I see it go blue up there somewhere? Okay. That's weird, but alright. You gonna stick around? Whatever. As long as it sticks around, I don't really care. So let's see. Got to be careful putting any anything around any of these trees until they're grown, which will be a while. So then over here, we'll do like like a couple stone benches or something maybe and put some flowers around them. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, the gr the green's odd to me. I, I'm I am not a fan of the green, but I'll I'll let it be there. We'll see what what once we get something some of them working for columns, some support columns. We'll even have the support columns a little broken and damaged because they've been here you know whatever thousand years or something. 
and we'll see how that works out. I'm down here. Still seems like I should do something over here. I don't think I have the blue block on me, do I? No, I don't. Okay. That's not going to work anyway. All right. Well, we're a little over three hours. I think uh, I think that'll be good for today. We'll be back at this again tomorrow. Uh, doing some more. Try to get more of this done. Try to get the uh, upstairs fleshed out. We got to give these t trees time to grow so I can really see kind of like what... I I've said this before. I have to let the space talk to me and kind of dictate what I'm doing with the space, I guess. Yeah, it's good to see you. And uh, I'll be around. I have my schedule posted. I tend to try to come on just a tiny bit before. And as you see, I stay later generally. So thanks for watching and have a good night, guys.